How's it going? I'm Beatnik. Uh, today I'm going to start a let's play of a game called To The Moon. Uh, this is an RPG maker game by an indie studio called Freebird Games. Uh, it was released in November 2011, so I'm quite behind the ball. Um, and I've managed to keep my head in the sand about everything about this, the storyline and, and everything. So this is going to be a really, a real blind let's play. Uh, I've been told that the story is just amazing and really touching uh, from what my girlfriend says. I'm probably going to cry towards the end, so uh, just be ready for that. Uh, yeah, let's get started. Hope you enjoy. Dr. Rosaline. <clears throat> Where are you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. <laughs> oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The bus is going to kill us! Um, we'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Ah, uh, we're fucked. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies. <laughs> Christ is averted! Good. Go write in your port report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Okay. Ah, it's point and click. I wasn't expecting that. We got equipment. Huzzah. Got the sucker. Let's roll. <laughs> so it was a purpose. Right click menu. So we're a technic... Technician Specialist for Sigmund Corp. Okay, and Senior Memory Traversal Agent. No uh, notes, just the equipment. With a box this heavy, what's inside has got to be important. Cool. Oh, let's check out the squirrel. You monster. Come on, I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? That's asking too much. <laughs> Smoking hot car. Where do we go? Let's go up that way. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. These guys are pretty funny. There we go. Yeah, I really wasn't expecting a point and click adventure from this. I really need to play some more RPG Maker and see what sort of stuff there is in this. The birds just wonder what we're doing. <clears throat> Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. <laughs> Cucumbers. What? <laughs> we don't have time for this fluff. <laughs> Let's try pushing it out the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. 
Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Uh, let's get my hand. One, three. One, two, three. Oh god, where's it gonna go? It's gonna hit the car, isn't it? I, I don't even. What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going. We'll, we'll figure that thing out later. Right. Let's head up here. What was that? There's things everywhere here. Where are you going? That's not what I went. What are they doing? Alright. There we go, that's where I went. Uh, let's say... No, that's a fence, not a bridge. No, don't go over to the fence. That's not a bridge. Can I just hold click? No, you have to click everywhere to move. That's going to be a bit tedious. Let's knock on this door. Ma, they're here. Not a bad, bad place to retire, huh? I could do better. <laughs> Night shifts, love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. Probably gonna be another all nighter, you know. <clears throat> I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Oh god. That sounds horrible. Shut up! The ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering it won't. And your eyelids will... What? Don't forget the equipment, you moron. I don't get paid enough for this. Work it in. Act one. Okay. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. <clears throat> Dr. Watts. Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Oh. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, 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 no. He just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. What other doctor is there? Come with me. Let's go. Grab the case and let's go. When my back breaks one day. I'll see you with the endurance claim. Yay, we got equipment. Let's get upstairs before I drop this. Go. Go. Yes. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Rad forest! <laughs> no fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever. You get the boring two notes anyway. Uh, 
Music is really nice in this. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small asteroid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. These guys are great. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you have, but I would hurry. Ready to set up? Um, yep, let's get started. Well, just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. Standard procedures, just to keep you on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's got just a day or two left, that's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome! <laughs> so what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geese just keep on getting crazier, huh? So can you do it? Depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That... I, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know any details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy, for Pete's sake. Shush! Just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you might find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he signed for you two. Alright, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Let's go, Rosaline. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print in this chair. <laughs> What's is awesome? Alright, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Alright. Let us go! Wait, come back for a moment. I have something for you. Here, take this. Remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. <laughs> sure you were. Okay, so we got a heart monitor in the menu. Which is right click. Yes. Ah, at the top here. Okay. So go on the right. Downstairs. <coughs> No! That's not what I meant. Yes. No. Do not go. 
Let's talk to them. What you want? Show me around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. <laughs> you cheeky little girl. What you think, Tommy? Yeah! Oh, uh, what would you like? We want... One trillion dollars! Or oh, the candy cane mum fries from us? Yeah, or that. There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour of the house. What do you say? Well... Yeah, I'll get it for you. My mother used to keep candies on her shelves too. Alright, I'll go get it. Kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go! <laughs> As you do. Uh, which door next to the stairs? That's not... Oh, there. That one? Yes, kitchen. There's the candy cane. I'm not tall enough either. What is this? Can I get the chair? No. Stool. There we go. Excellent. You received a candy cane. Terrible calories. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Here, have your stupid candy cane. Okay, got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. <laughs> okay, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. More fetching. Is that the study? Or is it over there? Let's try here first. <clears throat> this the book room. Key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Everything's up high. Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume 1. The key to avoiding paper cuts. <laughs> sure. Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplanted da, 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 da. standard repository of all knowledge. Scores on more pedestrian work. First, it's made of paper. Secondly, it provides numerous band aids to make for the inevitable paper cups resulting from reading of this book. Excellent. Come on, where is it? It's absolutely essential for each origami to be completed in exactly 42 moves. Oh, I never knew that. I wonder if this is true, actually. In most origami to tournaments, scissor cuts are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. What? Dusklight, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. <laughs> uh, maybe another year. <laughs> Yay! He chose his hiding spot well. I would have read that in an instant. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Oh. To one air, threw one back, and he needed a band aid. <laughs> Just a bunch of books in here. 
They have nothing I don't know about, though. Yes, you know everything. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Run along, kidlets. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. That one. Yes. So what do you want to show me? Ooh, a chest. The chest is locked. Is it in another book? Or do we go... Let's go this way. Is that anything? No. Ooh, box. Chest is locked. Everything's locked. Filled with colored papers. Probably for the origami. The cabinet is filled with dusty books. Probably filled with keys. I don't know how this game goes. Uh, Alright, I guess we gotta go... Oh, let's chat to the kids. We used to find all kinds of cool junk here. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. I love the humor in this game, it's awesome. Once we were down here and the lights were out, and Tommy fell down those stairs. He chipped a tooth, but that's okay, because he's ugly to begin with. <laughs> Seriously, these guys are awesome. A dusty pile of Animorphs books sit here, I love those books! The door is locked. Open door with room key, yes! It's like a cave in here. There's a light switch. Whoa! What the hell is that? What? Broken music box. A rabbit folded out of paper. Oh wow, they're origami rabbits. What's this one? A stuffed toy platypus. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Poke it. <laughs> Take it. Alright. Cool. Let's start with that, I guess. Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? Hee hee hee. Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So, you wanna see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Decision. Well, let's check out the lighthouse. You know what? Fine. Maybe we'll tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go check out the old lighthouse. How's the doctor going? We're good. Let's go. <clears throat> Tommy doesn't like turtles. <laughs> Aspiring professional ice cream taster. Aiming for the top. There's seriously just so much personality in this game. It's awesome. So Tommy's the opposite of that. I like totals, kid. Everyone loves that kid. I hope I'm going the right way for the lighthouse. I'm purely guessing this. Ah, oh, there we go. There it is. We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get down to it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. <laughs> so... I hope I'm going the right way. I feel kind of lost. So 
What do we got? Sit down. Ah, oh, down to the street where the car was. It's here. Huh? My novelty beach ball. I thought I lost it. <laughs> ah, it's stupid anyway. I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it. Don't look. Uh, there's no time to. What? Okay, done. Okay, let's hurry to that lighthouse. Whoa, squirrels. It's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? Not me. <laughs> it's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We roleplay it away. <laughs> huh? Tommy's a super powerful knight, and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Ah, oh, that's, uh, that's nice. Do you roleplay too? I, uh, no? She's not cool enough to do it. Hey, good if I wanted to. <laughs> Just you children, watch. What is this thing doing? Is that a sleeping platypus? Oh, a squirrel! A squirrel! What's the seagull doing? Go away, seagull. Can we pet it? Wah! Oh no, it's a terrible squirrel gone! <laughs> really? Oh, that's awesome! Don't worry, children, I'll protect you! We'll go with it. Attack. Volcanic jump kick. Whirlwind slap. Armageddon fist. Or shoe. Let's go shoe. Yelling volume. Loud. Louder. Loudest. Your uh, time is at an end, squirrel gong. Stop it. I will turn my animal abuse. Yeah, should call the cops on you. What? I was just... I wasn't gonna... Didn't say you like role-playing? <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just forget this happened. <laughs> I feel like nothing's happened and I'm loving this. <clears throat> Creepy. What's that? In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles? Was she John's wife? Dunno. Come on, the lighthouse is right there! How many steps is this gonna have? Ah, fade out. I like it. Nicely done. Ugh, more creepy rabbits everywhere. This is it! This is seriously creepy. How can cute little rabbit origami be creepy? A multicolored paper rabbit. I want to make one now. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have come before he fell ill again. This is the only one with two colors, huh? You know, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Kind of an odd hobby though. Oh, that's my phone. It's what? Is everything ready? Alright, I'll be right there. Why do you have a creepy ringtone? Because it scares the monsters away. Come on, let's head back. 
Got a paper rabbit. I'm totally going to look up how to make one now. I love origami. Ah, oh, why don't you be late by another half hour? Not like we got a dying client or anything. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. Get off your high horse. I'm late just this one time and you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are, because I'm competent. <laughs> your helmet's on the couch. Chop, chop. Where's the couch? What couch? Is it? Okay. Initiate! <clears throat> Alright, here we go. 